Hello everyone. In this video, we will get introduced to division of algebraic expressions. Now, let's go to the basics of division. When we divided two whole numbers, let's say. So, if I want to divide 24 by 8, what actually I am doing is, I am going to write the prime factors of 24. Let's say 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. And I am going to write the prime factors of 8. 2 into 2 into 2. And now, I am going to cancel out the common factors. 1, 2 here, this one, this one. And what I get is 3. And hence, 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. So, if we are able to write irreducible factors of algebraic expressions and cancel the common factors out, we will be able to perform the division of algebraic expression. And that's the method we are going to use this year. We have many other methods, many other advanced methods of division of algebraic expressions, but that is not part of our syllabus this year. Let's take one example and see how do we divide algebraic expression. Let's first divide a monomial by another monomial. 28 x raised to 4 divided by 56 x. Now, I will first write the irreducible factors of 28 x raised to 4. And those will be, so 28 x raised to 4 upon, we have to write 56 x. And 56, factors of 56. So now let's cancel out the common factors. You see here 2, 2, 2, 2. Then we have 7 here, 7, we have x here, x. And what's remaining? x, 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 x into x into x is x cube upon 2. So the answer is half x cube. So when we divided a monomial 28x raised to 4 by another monomial 56x, what we get is 1 upon 2 x cube. Let's now try another one. 12 a raised to 8 b raised to 8 divided by minus 6 a raised to 6 b raised to 4. Now again we will write it in fraction format, the division in fraction format. We will write the irreducible factors of this term here. So that is 2 into 2 into 3 into a raised to 8 into b raised to 8 divided by minus 6, let's say minus 1 into 2 into 3 into a raised to 6 multiplied by b raised to 4. We know the division of exponents. Here we will cancel out the common factors 2, 2, 3, 3 and a raised to 8 upon a raised to 6 is a raised to 8 minus 6. b raised to 8 upon b raised to 4 is b raised to 8 minus 4. So this would be 2 upon minus 1 into a raised to 2 into b raised to 4 and which is equal to 2 upon minus 1 is same as minus 2 minus 2 a square b raised to 4. That is our answer. Let's now do a polynomial by a monomial. 3y raised to 8 minus 4y raised to 6 plus 5y raised to 4. This polynomial is divided by y raised to 4. Now, there are two ways we can do it. 
one first we can factorize this so if we want to factorize so we'll do method one here let's factorize 3y raised to 8 minus 4y raised to 6 plus 5y raised to 4 what is common y raised to 4 seems to be common and then what we get is 3 y raised to 4 minus 4 y raised to 2 plus 5 now this one we can go ahead and factorize it further but we are not going to do that right now because we want to only divide by y raised to 4 okay so that way 3y raised to 8 minus 4y raised to 6 plus 5y raised to 4 divided by y raised to 4 is equal to y raised to 4 3y raised to 4 minus 4y square plus 5 upon y raised to 4 y raised to 4 y raised to 4 gets cancelled and the answer is 3y raised to 4 minus 4y square plus 5. This is method 1 where we first found the factors of the dividend and then we did the division. In method 2, we will individually divide this. So, that is equal to 3y raised to 8 upon y raised to 4 minus 4y raised to 6 upon y raised to 4 plus 5y raised to 4 upon y raised to 4. And here I can cancel this out. Here we know y raised to 6 upon y raised to 4 means y raised to 6 minus 4, 4 which is 2. y raised to 8 upon y raised to 4 means y raised to 8 minus 4 which is 4 and that will give me 3y raised to 4 minus 4y square plus 5. So in first one we first found the factors and then we did the division second one we divided each term individually by the monomial. Okay, this is what we have learned in whole numbers we do the same thing we are applying the same methods for algebraic expressions as well. Let's now see how to divide polynomial by polynomial. Here in this case we will factorize the dividend polynomial. We will factorize that. Once we factorize it we will see if we do need to factorize the divisor polynomial as well. In some cases it will not be required because the divisor polynomial may get directly cancelled out. And in some cases, if it is not getting cancelled out, we may have to factorize the divisor polynomial as well. Let's take one example. 10x minus 25 divided by 2x minus 5. So first we will find the factors of 10x minus 25. And we see a common 5 out and maybe 2x minus 5. Okay, so we see a 2x minus 5 factor here in this which will get cancelled by the divisor. So we don't need to factorize the divisor. And therefore, is equal to 5 into 2x minus 5 upon 2x minus 5. 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5 get cancelled and what remains is 5. So answer is 5. Let's take one more example. So first, let's make the factors of the dividend. So that is equal to 9x square y square and I can take 3 common out from here. So when I take 3 common out I get inside z minus 8. In divisor also z minus 8 is there so I will not factorize the divisor. So now Let's write the 27 as maybe 9 into 3. That will be good, better. 
Now we see 3rd minus 8 gets cancelled, 3rd minus 8, 3 gets cancelled here, 3, 9 gets cancelled, 9. And x square, y square, x square upon x is going to be x, y square upon y is going to be y. Our answer is going to be x into y, x, y. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.